Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with my next review of Birchbox and this is actually going to be my last one for a while. I kind of touched on previously that I didn't want to have to subscribe long term to Birchbox. I was very interested in coming in, getting through two to three boxes and then tapping back out again. Because I managed to get last time the deal where it was buy one get one free on the boxes, um, I technically got three for the price of two. So I'm going to call it a day after this box. Box. but if you want to look and see what I got in November just keep watching so the theme of the box this month was Vogue um, and I'm not really sure from the products what elements of this were Vogue um, that bit kind of eludes me in a way um, let's, let's, have, let's have a look so it came with a voucher for a complimentary six issues of Vogue but I believe you I don't know if you had to subscribe up to this or I'm not sure but that's what the gift was and here is the little card I should start actually with the bummer on this before we get any further forward because I don't think I can get any further. Um, so this box is actually late. This is November's box but I literally received this on the 1st of December. Um, I subscribed, I let my subscription run through and then about two or three days after they took the payment for November I cancelled because I knew I only wanted two or three boxes. Um, and at that point I then never received a shipping notification, I never received my November box. Um, I will say that the customer services were really great, they did get back in contact with me very quickly and eradicate the situation um, after maybe two or three emails were exchanged but I just think it's a bit weird that as soon as I decide to unsubscribe they decide not to send me a box. Okay we might as well just start out with it because we've, we've started. Um, so basically one of the products was a NUX hair multi-purpose oil for hair and a sample size this is an RP for, for uh, £17. This com came completely empty to me and it was spilt over everything so not only all the other products oily all the paper is oily the box is oily so on top of it being late one of the products was gone I wouldn't have used this product because I have as you know I have problems with my hair but it's just a real bummer but we'll move on to the rest of the products because the rest of the products are really nice we've got a dry shampoo from the brand Chlorine um, and it just says a dry shampoo with oat milk gentle formula for all types very excited to try this because dry shampoo is something that I go through on the regular so a new one is very much welcome and that retails for £8 I'm presuming for a slightly bigger size then have a L'Occitane hand cream and this is saying from R RP of £8 but I'm guessing again this is not a full size product and this is just in a scent, is it just in a scent? It just says dry skin hand cream made in France um, and another product that I go through on the regular and L'Occitane is a great brand so those two I'm really really happy with. Then we have Hula from Benefit, this is a really decent size, it is a sample size but it's a nice size, who ever goes through powdered products, not a lot of people. Um, and Hula is a great product, I love it, it's my, one of my favourite bronzers because it's really great for pale skin, it's also matte, I like it a lot, I do have a full size Hula, I don't think I'm ever going to go through the full size Hula so I do have someone in mind for this. And a full size Hula does retail for £25. But the most exciting item for me was actually the um, exclusive product to Birchbox, which is not normally my favourite. And this is one of these items that's kind of gone around everywhere, which is to do with cleaning your brushes. So I think you can put your fingers in there, um, or you can just rest this on the bottom of your sink, and you can rub your brushes up against this grit here, and it does help to clean them out. I have wanted one of these for a long time. I've kind of seen them scattered around the market. They're always in TK Maxx, so I'm very happy to see that this was included, and saves me buying one. So apart from that huge hiccup at the start of the video with the products and the slow different... The rest of the items, the other four, I think are really great items. And this is possibly, apart from that, my favourite box that I have received since resubscribing. So yeah, that was my little re-dabble in with Birchbox. I think I might do this again periodically because, like I said before, I didn't realise that if you unsubscribed, you could then still get the deals that were getting emailed to you. Like, do you want a free benefit product? Do you want a free box? So I think next time a deal like that uh, catches my eye, I will take it. But for now, let me know what you think of Birchbox. And if there's any other subscription services in the UK that you think I should try, please let me know that too. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.